Right, Brandon? That's what I was thinking. Third time's a charm. Or maybe fourth or fifth or something. I don't know what was going on. All I know is the internet's having some issues and it never really does that, but I also know that there's a hurricane not too far away, so that could have something to do with it. <laughs> yeah, I've never actually been in a state where a hurricane's, you know, in the general area of where I live. In California, there's hurricanes there sometimes, but I was super far away from the coast, so... In fact, I was like... Probably like 150 miles away from the nearest ocean. Hey, Dale, welcome back, man. So I thought we'd start out doing some uh, bighorn sheep hunting first. So Vera, welcome back. Nice to see you here again. We're doing another multiplayer server as well. So I think I did, didn't I? Yeah, we're in a multiplayer. So Silver, feel free to join in if you want. It kind of worked out good though, because as the internet crashed, it gave me time to be able to heat up my old food or my leftovers and then uh, eat something real quick. So I guess it kind of worked out in my favor. But it's also unfortunate that it keeps on doing this. At least the last time it ended up, you know, over an hour, which was good. The first time it only went like 30 minutes. Yo, it's Dodge. I recognize your profile, man. You change your name to Shoe Shopping Nos. Nice. I like it. Good choice. Got a buffalo out here. Don't mind if I do. Throw a couple into him real quick. And then we'll be doing some bighorn sheep hunting here very shortly. Man, you ever have like an itch on your eye and you just ate something spicy? So you don't really want to touch your eye, but at the same time, like <laughs> it itches. So you got to touch it. <laughs> and our buffalo just piled up right there. But as long as you don't touch it, like with the part that you touch the food, if you touch the back of your knuckle, then usually you're fine. It wasn't really that hot. It was just a little spicy. Hey, Rox, it's the Hunter DD33. Sounds good, Sovra. I was just letting you know. So we're getting a call from a buffalo. Well, actually, we're getting a call from a mule deer, and I see a buffalo here. Hey, you made it, Rox. Nice. Decent level three. And left lung shot at 340, 111. That's what I know. That's not what I was looking for. Where's the mule deer? Gotta be over there. Yeah, you guys were saying you wanted to come to SRP, so I thought, well, let's go to SRP. The Untamed Hunter. Nice name, man. Nice name. Like the Warrior Hunter. I don't see the buck. Lots of bison over here. Holy. bug um so mule deer drink here and so do elk oh there might be some elk down here actually oh we'll check it out and find out hey tony how's it going man nice to see you yeah it's been pretty warm today actually I thought it was going to rain and be cold and windy, but it didn't, and it's not cold or windy. I'll think about it, Hunter. Lax for life, what's going on, man? 
Who's asking about the best pistol? Oh, that was you. Oh, okay. Probably the 44 or the 454 Rhino. The thing about the 454 Rhino is it's kind of like so OP that you can pretty much take down anything with it. Ooh, that's pretty epic. A big muley buck bet in there. 240 minimum to 300 on the score. So that's like a 256 probably. 270 yards out. Believe it or not, he actually stood up right before we were about to take that shot. And now I don't know what he's doing. Now he's bedded back down. I held too low. I hope that first, or I hope the second shot hit. The first shot I held like right for the heart, but he was 270. So I really needed to hold like for high lung. But the second shot should have been pretty much where we wanted to be, but might've been a little bit too far back. Epic Beast, what's up, man? Welcome back. Hey, Dodge, I'm glad you changed your name back so I can recognize you, man. Nice. Please tell me we connected. No! Oh, please tell me we missed. Actually, if you tell me we miss, I'll be really happy. Because I don't think we did miss. But hopefully we did. Because that was a very nice buck. Come on, bear. What are you? Or don't let me spot you. Hey, Garrett, welcome back, man. Oh, we got him. Son of a... Rip. I wonder if we got vertebrae there. Big old bedded buck and I choked big time. I should have shot once and let him run away. Instead, no, I had to take a follow-up shot really quick and be cool. And that made it even worse. Because then we got a non-vital hit. Oh. To me, like, that's the worst shot you can get. Because it's like, at least if you get a no organs hit, then you can say, yeah, I made a horrible shot. But a, but a non-vital hit, it's not like a horrible shot. It's just, you almost made a good shot. And to me, like, that's why it sucks. Because you barely missed the vital. Where's there more tracks? Hey, Sandman. Yeah, we're doing some SRP. How's it going, Trevor? There's like no more tracks from this buck. <laughs> What was it? Uh... Oh, thanks, Silver. I don't know where he went. See, we had blood, then we had tracks. That's money. Thank you so much. Going this way. Fresh tracks, and then nothing. Unless he turned back around, maybe? Did he actually turn back around? No way, he turned back around. Hey, Majestic, how's it going, man? Oh, thank you so much for that super chat. Here you go, buddy. All I have from the last paycheck. That is so awesome of you, Majestic. Thanks, man. I really appreciate the support. That means a lot. Here's our buck down right here. 
But uh, I know how it is though. A lot of times when you get your paycheck, it's like by the time the taxes and everything comes out, like, uh, well, I got enough left for dinner. <laughs> 249 okay so he was on the bottom end of that estimate which is a good thing he's still a very impressive buck but yeah that follow-up shot there we had the right distance down but we just didn't have the lead down as he was walking like I was holding here but because he was walking we hit here and caught intestine but Hey, at least we got a decent buck. Can't be uh, too upset about that. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Kick you. That's I appreciate the super so chat, much. man. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if we'll be doing that, though. Clever move. Clever move on your part, too. Because um, you can't. Oh, I guess you could. I mean, you could do that, but <laughs> I know Cody. He tried to do it before and it didn't work, so then he got an idea. <laughs> Yo, Tony, what's cooking? <laughs> it makes you laugh. You know what? I'm glad that you're laughing. Laughing's good for you. Laughing and smiling. We got a Maxway Gobber out here, and we're definitely going to go after him. <laughs> Kick this ink, Cod. <laughs> I know, right? Basically. So it was a pretty awesome day today for me because it's like, you know how you want to have a really good day and you just don't know if it's going to turn out the way that you want. But as long as you have a positive outlook on it, then things are going to go pretty good. Well, we got a gobbler right here, 140 yards out. But I went into this coffee shop and there was this super cute blonde girl sitting next to her brunette friend. And I thought like, man, I want to talk to her. But you know what? I'm going to go talk to her. And I went over and talked to her. And she actually gave me her number. That was pretty cool. It's one of those things where like you want it to happen really bad, but then you kind of get nervous because they're super cute. And then it's like, well, there's a lot of people there. So what if they see me? What are they going to do? And just go for it. And uh, that was cool. Anyways, I just wanted to give you guys that really positive story. Epic Beast, what's up? <laughs> you did it again. <laughs> it's nice when people smile when you're talking to them, you know? Like they look into your eye and then they're happy to talk to you. And it's just a really cool feeling. And I think everybody should be able to de deserve to feel that feeling. You're a fan now? That's awesome. No. Nah. Oh, bagging. I thought you said bragging. I'm like, nah. Thank you, Justice. I appreciate that. Oh, gobbler. We got the gobbler calling out here. So we're going to have to throw in the 300s quick here. I've never done that before, like in a public setting where there's a lot of people. If there is one person, then yeah, you can approach them. But like if they're with friends. It's very difficult to try and approach a girl with friends. And I don't think I've ever done that before, honestly. What did I just do here? Go like that. <laughs> but I appreciate the super chat and thanks for laughing again. <laughs> Silvera. <laughs> it's so hard not to laugh though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we should be getting pretty close to this gobbler here. He was like right there. I'm glad you're here too, Austin. 
DH19, what's up? Just talking about how we had an awesome day today so far. Gobbler's only like 50 yards in front of us here. So I don't think he would have spooked from that. Kahui, I appreciate that. That means a lot. Thank you. Oh, warning call. There he is. 60 yards away. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to draw back and let one fly. Oh, no. The wind pushed it. No. <laughs> oh, I should have zeroed back in for... Oh, man. Smart gobbler. He smelled us from the wind. I couldn't really do much about it. Okay, we'll try and get closer this time. We had a really bad wind. Money. Thank you so much. The way I see it... Okay, I gotta read that one. The way I see it is life is short, so we gotta do what we can do and what do we have to lose. Pretty much. That's a good way to see it. Casey plays, thank you. What's going on, Thad? Welcome back, man. Nice to see you again. Ruben, how's it going? Thank you so much for that super chat, man. Nice to see you. <laughs> I do have the 600 grain arrows in. How did I do that? <laughs> oh my god, that would have been so bad. I totally didn't even know that. Okay, where'd he go? He should be over here somewhere. Got tracks here. Austin rip. Yeah, that was a major rip. But it's actually a good thing that we missed because we had the 600s in. Apparently, I forgot to switch out, or maybe I didn't hit the right button, potentially. we got tracks right there. Go nice and slow. He should be right down there. I got the collar. We could always use that if we need to. Come on, where is he? Keep an eye out for him. Tracks there. Oh, I think he went this way. Right now, if you're joining in, we're trying to sneak up on a pretty nice gobbler we just saw here. Tracks there. Yeah, he definitely went this way. Definitely. Where's my turkey collar? Oh, six. See, there's tracks right there running this way. So he had to have crossed this road here somewhere. Hey, uh, JD Fishing, how's it going? Uh, JS Fishing, what's going on? There's someone with a YouTube channel, I think it is uh, JD Fishing. Or maybe it's JV Fishing. Yeah, it's JV Fishing. Bob 
bottleneck in your GPU? What is? I am not seeing this gobbler. Where in the heck did he go? Oh, right here. Okay, so he cut back this way. That track's there. Wonder where he went. I mean, this is kind of like his home here. So I feel like eventually, or maybe he went here. He could have went here too. Eventually he should calm down and start feeding. Hey, Deer Slayer, welcome back, man. Yeah, sorry we kept crashing before. I honestly couldn't tell you why. All I know is the internet's having some major issues. There's another Jake. How's it going, Jake Boss? What's up, man? Everything is awesome so far. Oh, they're right there, right there, right there. Redhead, I see him sneaking in. We got full cover here. And our big gobbler is sneaking in the backside here. All right. This is perfect setup. Get tucked back in here and try and call him in. Him. He's like right there somewhere. I see grass moving there. Is that? It is him. Look at that smart little gobbler. 30 yards out right there. He'll walk through that little patch and get smoked. Yes, he's down. Perfect shot. Because all of a sudden I could see the grass moving. And I thought, wait a second. That's got to be him. And sure enough, it was. A 4.5 gold. A big old gobbler down. 30 yards out. Nice shot. Left lung, liver, and stomach on him. On the walk. Look at that big red head too. No way, Dodge. That's awesome. Two gold males. Very cool. I'm glad we got that max weight gobbler. He almost scored diamond too. Which, that's what's cool about max weight gobblers is the fact that they can make diamond. When was that, Jake? When did you try playing Fishing Planet? And whenever I do it, I always do single player. So you can select private server or server with friends only or join a random server. I always do private server. So I don't think you really need uh, the internet that much for that. Because I never crashed once. Hey, Rebecca. Nice to see you. Nothing much. We were actually trying to find some bighorns and then we ended up over here. Which now... Bighorns still could be... Oh, I want to go here, I think. Maybe. Or maybe here. I don't know. I can't make up my mind, to be honest. So many options. 
Like, that's one of the reasons why I like this map so much. Because there's just so many options, like, how you can hunt it. Oh, what was that? Oh, good thing we checked that out. A very nice black bear. Nice level 7 coming this direction. So, if we're patient enough... Wait, which way is he going? Another turkey. Ah, uh, it's just a hen. Oh, he's going to stop right there. Okay. We'll take him with the 300 Magnum for sure. It's going to be quite the poke. Oh, a bison. But, um... We're looking at roughly 340. But if we hold for right on the heart, I think we should be good right there. At about 340. I mean, I honestly would have expected him to just crumble right there. So the fact that he didn't kind of has me a little concerned. Considering we're using a 300 Magnum here. But I do think we definitely got a single lung for sure. You doing good? I'm glad to hear that, Rebecca. All right, Tony, take it easy. Oh, you're not going? <laughs> that happens like every single stream. People always say, all right, have a good night. And then they're like, yeah, I'm not leaving. I was just saying bye to somebody else. They always do that in lady stream. Bye. <laughs> no, I'm not leaving. Okay, sounds good, Sal. Somewhat of a decent pronghorn book. I was on a private server. Oh. It's got to be the internet, yeah. Because, like I said, I never had any issues on Fishing Planet, and I played for quite a while. Two days in a row. What happened, Garrett? Oh, okay. Sounds good, Garrett. See you later. Oh, another gobbler. Not a bad looking pronghorn. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Um, I think we'll let him be. You know, we might try and take him down actually. Thought I saw another one up there. Go squad, I've been meaning to ask, do you miss the old scoring system? Like the 1000 scoring system? I mean, I like that, but uh, as far as for whitetail, I feel like a lot of them would score almost exactly the same. So now, you know, they score quite a bit different. I do miss the old racks though. Those old racks were pretty awesome. Like the big diamond racks for the white tail and the black tail. Those were so cool. The black tail were just incredible. Okay, so we have a good wind. Not like it really should matter much, but it does in Call of the Wild. Can we hunt? Early streamer has a stream to... Oh, yeah. Yep, that's right, Cody. Oh, Cody, good to see you again, man. I don't know if you ever left or not, but... I know you were here the whole stream before, so... Where's our gobbler now?
You guys see him? Where in the heck? Oh! We jumped him up. Gobble, gobble, gobble! Oh, he st <laughs> He stopped. Dang! Almost had him. We got so close to him, I couldn't see him. And then we spooked him. There he goes. There he goes over there. Well, at least we could take down this pronghorn, I suppose. Kind of unfortunate, but. I'm in the stream till it ends 100%. Heck yeah, Cody. Thanks, man. All right, nice neck shot here for him. Man, what a rip. If that gobbler would have kept on trotting like he was, it would have probably been a perfect shot. But instead, right when we squeeze the trigger, he slows down, of course, and we shoot right in front of him. And the second shot, the same exact thing happens. Recoil management. Yeah, that could help. Well, we got to get that set up here, Dodge. First, you get the number. And then, you got to move from there. But, uh... Dude, that almost was a neck and heart shot. 73.7. Young Buckets, how's it going, man? It's a sweet name, by the way. Old Grey Bear, welcome back. Yeah, I know, the chat is finally back. We had uh, quite a bit of issues with the internet lately. Is that the same gobbler? Is he coming back? No way. This time, we're getting this sucker. He's going to fly right to us. We're going to cut him off. The black bear. You guys are right. I almost forgot to get that big black bear. Oh, that would have been so unfortunate. Pronghorn way out there. Another decent one. Come on, Gobbler. Where are you at? Usually they kind of go in a straight line when you see them. And you can cut them off pretty good. Right there. There he goes. Hey, he's kind of going this way. Oh. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, he's only 140 out, so he actually might come this way. Check this out. Let's try and call him in. Watch. He turns and runs the other direction. I was joking. Whoa, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, he's coming back in. He's circling around. What is my marker on? Oh, over there. I feel like he's definitely working his way back in here. Hey, Kaden, what's up? Ivy, yes, I am. Yep. Welcome back, Crimson. That's a sweet name, by the way. Like Crimson Talon. I love it. Okay, so we know he's right down here somewhere. Just gotta keep an eye out. did he go? It was over there. The 
problem is when they get in that grass, you can't hardly see them until their head sticks up. Where in the heck did he go? Well, he definitely outsmarted us somewhere. He gone. Hey Louise, how's it going all the way from Brazil? I'm Farmer, how's it going Farmer? I remember you. Man, it's so dark here. Why is it so dark over here? I hardly see. Ooh. No, I don't think so. Hey Memphis, how's it going? been playing for four years and you can't seem to get a diamond white tail yeah they're tough i mean it's not like you can just go out there and get a diamond you got to start hunting a lot of the animals in the area and once you start getting them consistently then there's a chance that you can get a diamond to come back it's not one of those things where you just go out and get a diamond a multiplayer you can do that on some servers because a lot of people don't hunt them very much so if you go, if you join someone, uh, someone's map, that's is that the same. Oh no, that's the hen. So if you join someone's map that hasn't really hunted it much, there's a chance you might get a diamond on their map because there's not much pressure. But other than that, if you're hunting on your own map, you got to hunt a lot. Okay. Young buck. Sounds good. No, I'm good, Dodge. I have one. Hey, Logan. How's it going? We're attempting our third stream or our third time for streaming. The first two didn't work out so good. I got to start carrying my 22 for these turkey because it takes so long to get close to them for a shot. Oh my God. <laughs> no way. Oh, it's so funny, but inappropriate. That's money. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, Mike Hawk, thanks for the super chat, man. Yeah, it earns the respect of the herd. I guess so. What's up, Logan? So it's actually almost perfect timing to start hunting for some mule deer here. 
I was I was wondering when you were gonna say something, Cody. <laughs> He's like, really, guys? Okay, Jan, sounds good. Do you need different calibers for different animals? Yeah, you do. Yep. Small game, you need like a 22 and then medium sized game, 30 odd six or actually no. So it goes like 223 or 243 and then to 30 odd six after that. And then the next category category would be like uh, 30 odd six, 300 Magnum, seven millimeter. It's a decent pronghorn. Not giant, but decent. We're here a little bit too early for the mule deer. All right, Evan, sounds good. So I went out last night to this place called Drift and met a ton of awesome people. It has kind of like the like a surfer vibe bar and it was huge. There easily had to be like 400, 500 people in this place. And in Texas, everything is huge. Everything's like all spread out. So it wasn't even like shoulder to shoulder. It was just all spread out and people were everywhere. Kid and honestly, very underrated YouTuber. Love your videos. Keep up the great work. I appreciate that a lot, Caden. Thank you so much for saying that, man. That's amazing. Oh my God, Sam, you're right. You're so right. Now, where was that? Was it not like, not like here? It had to have been like there. We're gonna go get it, don't worry. Thanks, man. He was big, so he's definitely worth it. Oh, Tony's been here. Yeah, I know, Tony loves Logan. Nah, Dodge, I appreciate the offer, but you should keep it for yourself. Or give it to one of your friends. That's nice, too. All right, go squad. Sounds awesome, man. I appreciate you being here. Can someone tell me where we got our black bear at? Uh, I don't remember if it was here or here. Uh, I feel like, well, if it wasn't here, then it was definitely behind us. Hey, Viper showed up. How's it going, Viper? Gianna, nice to see you again. Hey, Titus, what's going on? 
Hello, Allison. Well, right now we're trying to find this big black bear that we shot from before. I just can't remember where he was. The track there. Maybe it was like right here. Oh, I don't remember. We got a buck. Ah, he went behind that hill. We couldn't really get him. Definitely can't get him if you don't try and take a shot, though. Boo Goodman, hey! You been streaming, huh? Nice. For some reason, I feel like that bear was behind us quite a way. What in the? Okay. Time to try and hit a buffalo with a 300 grain arrows. <laughs> This could get interesting. Come on, charge. Do they charge? <laughs> well, I haven't seen any other color bears. That was the only color. <laughs> oh my god. All right, we're about to let one fly here with a 300 green arrows. Oh, we got him. He's hit. He's coming at us. Light him up. Oh, he's hit a couple times. I've never attempted to do this before. Oh, nice Texas hard shot. I wonder if it's even possible. Well, that would have been a perfect hard shot if you would have kept walking. To take him down. With the 300s. I believe we got a vital hit there. That should have been a good shot too. A little bit high there. Oh, that should have got spinal cord. Oh, no you don't. Oh, that was a perfect shot. Another good shot. I wonder how many times we hit him in the actual lungs. Ooh, that was a perfect shot too. Come on, go down. Yeah, he turned the wrong way, huh? Is it possible? Now we just found out. It is possible to take down a bison with a 300 grain arrows. But how many shots did it take and how many vital hits did it take? I forgot how to scroll down here. Page down? How do I... Okay. How do I scroll down to see all of my shots? Do you guys remember? I thought it was page down or... Um... Minus, plus, no? What the heck? I know we hit him more than six times. I'll uh, wait for you guys to figure it out. Hey, Scarecrow. <laughs> what happened here? Oh, you... <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit uncalled for. I agree with you on that, Cody. <laughs> What's up, Scarecrow? <laughs> I <didn't> know. <laughs> Alt 44. No, like for real, how do you scroll down to see how many times you hit the animal? I know it's not Alt F44. There is no Alt F44. I only have up to 12. What's up, Jamie? How do you scroll down to see these comments? Or I mean to see the... How many hits? Six times. Alt F4. Don't do all that for. I used to know how. You guys are all trolling. Trolling hardcore. 
It's yeah, but the scroll wheel's not doing anything. We hit him more than six times. Are you, are you kidding me? Like that's all we hit him is six times. Shot way more than six times. It won't let me scroll. One long shot. No, the scroll wheel does not do anything. Not working. Anyways, it's not what's important, I suppose. No, I'm not going to do Alt F4, I know. I'm not going to do that, no. Drag the scroll. I tried to do that. It wouldn't do anything. It's not working. Okay, we got to get that bear. We're getting way too distracted here. Yeah, Scarecrow, I had some issues with my internet. It kept cutting out. I've tried to stream like three times already. Did somebody pick up our bear? Where's the bear? Where's that bear? I feel like somebody should just join in here and show me where this bear is. We have room. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we have room. Your bear's here. Oh, way back there. We were so far off. He's way. Oh, man, we are so far off. Thank you, the untamed hunter. That's so nice of you. I don't remember shooting him back that way, but okay. I guess he was over there. Nah. Dude, he was like way over there. That's I don't think that's our bear. I think that's somebody else's bear. I'm so confused as to like where this bear came from. What does Alt F4 do? <laughs> um, so it pretty much like crashes your game. So you don't want to do that. Come on, Bison. Bring it on. Bring it on, Bison. Light him up. Oh, right over the top of him. Imagine if that was money. Oh wow, he is flying. Right in front of him. There it is, there it is. Oh, drop low. Okay. There it isn't. There's a mule deer there. Um, did somebody shoot this buck? Let's put it out of its misery here. Where is this bear that you speak of? Yeah, no kidding. We just shot that thing with a 300 Magnum. And he took off. There is no way. I mean, I tried to just put him out of his misery. And he kept running away from a 300 Magnum shot. At like 150 yards out to the chest. Okay, let's go see if this is our bear. What in the heck is our bear doing way over here? Hey, what's going on, man? This is the untamed hunter. He found our bear. 
I appreciate that. I mean, it looks pretty big. So I feel like it should be our bear. But this is definitely nowhere near where we were when we shot it, I don't think, at least. Yeah, that's him. 390 yard shot. And it was a perfect double long shot. You guys remember when I told you we took the shot and I felt a little bit like it should have crumbled because the shot was perfect. And the fact that it ran, I was a little bit hesitant on whether or not we made a good shot. But as you can see here, it was absolutely smoked. In fact, it was almost a double lung heart shot at 400 yards and a big gold 20.3 gold black bear. I appreciate that, Untamed Hunter. Thanks so much for helping us find that. I never, never would have found that thing. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome. Hey, there's Everett. I will not make it to most vids or streams because school and sports. That is definitely understandable, Everett. I appreciate every single time that you can come here, though. So thank you so much. And thanks for letting me know as well. I got a Scarecrow Lady and DD. Yep. You watch my videos all the time and you like them. Thank you, Sal. Lord Craig, what's up, man? Great to see you again. The problem with doing drives on Call of the Wild is it like never turns out how you want it to. Never. You spend so much time trying to get everything set up to make it work. <laughs> Young P, you found my buck. <laughs> Young P, look, he's going right for it. That's where we spotted him right there. How do you even see him up there? Oh, I guess you just see him there. Mm, okay. Uh, you want to pick him up? Thank you. That was nice of you. That was very nice of you. I kind of want to try and take a shot at a bison again. Oh. I was going to say with the 300s and find out again um, how many shots it takes to bring them down. Because there's no way we only took six shots. Yeah, Scarecrow, I think that's kind of how it is. Like, the game mechanism-wise, it's not designed to be able to do drives. It's more about the animals going circles. You know, they have like a certain uh, radius that they can cover. And once they cross that radius, they circle back and go back to the exact same spot. They never go straight in a line. They're always in a certain area. Alright, so we're looking at about like 65, 70 yards right there. I mean right over the top of him. Like right over the top of him. Dang, that's unfortunate. We're so close to hitting this thing. Because if we hit it at least once, then it should turn back and try and attack us. Bad shot. Give me a side of the brain shot. Light him up. Oh, what'd you shoot? What'd you shoot over there? <laughs> it's a turkey. He shot the turkey. Nice. <laughs> This spot's really good for mule deer. Like during the middle of the day, it's really good. Turkey is sneaking up on a turkey. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Good luck. 
Hope you get him. Let's go check over here quick. Totally understand, Cody. How's it going, Dave? What's up, webcamming? How's it going? Hunter Elliot, how's it going, man? We've had a couple of good bucks here in the past. Uh oh, I can't pick up any tracks. You go hunting in real life? Wanted to know if I go hunting in real life too. Yep, I do. Yep. That's awesome, Raiden. Mr. Patches, you're going camping Thursday, going fishing and swimming. Have fun. Have an absolute blast out there. Where are you going camping? So Game King, you can get this this uh, game on Steam. Do I wabbit hunt IRL? Uh, yeah, I. That's a good buck there. That's actually the one I was looking for. Three ninety. Oh man! Tell me we connected on that shot. Nope. Drop low. That's render distance right there. I didn't realize he was that far out. I used to do a ton of rabbit hunting IRL with uh, shotguns and 22s. I started off hunting them with 410s. Roy Biddle, I don't know what you're talking about. Is that like a Hawaiian or something? There's a chance this buck might come back. But to be honest, not a very good one. There he is. There he is. Now, I don't know if that's him or the other buck that we saw. I can't tell if that's him or not. Can't get a shot either. There he is. It's gotta be him, kind of because the way that he's limping. Okay, there's a little pocket right there. 340 yards. We're gonna have to make up for it this time, guys. We gotta make this count. It's gonna cross here any second now. Just smoked him, but it's not him. I thought that was gonna be our big buck, but it's actually a different buck. Yeah, we smoked him. He's down. Now, the big buck didn't actually go down yet. I mean, I think he's going to, but he still didn't quite go down yet. Because there's no hunting pressure there. So, if we keep an eye out, we might get lucky to get a follow-up on him. Hey, how's it going, Elk Slayer? Nice to see you, man. To New Zealander, good guess though. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it it doesn't really matter where someone's from. It matters like who they are as a person. 
Smoke him. That's right, Yawn. Yeah, I've actually dated an, Aust an Australian girl before. So, really not much difference between that and a New Zealander. Thanks, Mr. Patches. Back for the stream. Nice, Lord Cole. Everett Trudeau, what is your favorite fish? Musky. Musky is my all-time favorite fish. I know what y'all are going through is tough. Trust me, it's hard times, but give it time, it will get better. What was I missing here? What did I miss out on? Dude, that buck did not go down. And I'm pretty sure we hit it. It must have stopped bleeding. Because there's no honey pressure here. Smoked him. Legend Hunter, what's going on? Hey, Whitney Young. What are you, medium? Ooh, that sounds fun, Sal. I mean, perfect shot there, 175, but this is definitely not the big one that we saw. It's a respectable muley, though. It's definitely a respectable buck. The one that we shot over here was a guaranteed gold, though. In fact, there should be blood over here. If this was him. Oh, your dad got a 43 inch tiger muskie. That's awesome. That's actually my biggest tiger muskie as well. A 43 inch tiger muskie. My biggest muskie ever. Okay, Dodge. Sounds awesome, man. I mean, I kind of want to track down this buck. Gobbler calling. What's this track now? Blood. We got blood. We got blood. Okay. Yeah, I picked it up. Okay. Uh, I love going to Indian River so I can see my friends and cousins and everyone. That's awesome, Mr. Patches. Indian River. Where? What part is that in? Like, what state do you do that in? Yeah, you're right about that, Mike Hawk. Right about that one. You started grinding mountain lions, and hopefully you'll get a diamond soon. Hopefully. Cooper, you are the best YouTuber. I really appreciate that, Cooper. Thanks, man. Right now we're tracking down a half injured wounded. Well, I guess it's just a half injured uh, mule deer. And that might be him. Cause I had his track right here. That's his track. Um, 75%. He's not going to go down, is he? Who's following me? A little bit too close. Oh, is that going to be him? No, but it's not a bad looking buck. And that is not a bad looking bull. So where'd he go then? That's not him either. I don't know where he went. 
But this guy definitely has my interest. He's a guaranteed gold, level four. Max weight pronghorn antelope, 400 yards out. Let's take him down. Open sights, 400 yards. Light him up. Just kidding, I'm not gonna do it. But I'll do that. <laughs> if it wasn't so big, I probably would do it. But I really don't like messing up big golds. It was a level seven gold, nice. Holy, it's getting warm out. Hey, who's that? Someone just shot him. I think you saved him. If you got that buck, that means you saved him. Because that's definitely our buck. Holy, that should have been a perfect shot. It was. Heck yeah. So that kind of worked like a little drive. You see that? He's over here pushing this side. You know, and stuff's coming out, and they keep running straight. But I feel like once you get too close to one another, then that's when they start circling back. So as long as you're far apart and don't really run towards each other, I think you can kind of do like little mini pushes. I won't even call it a drive, just like a little push. See, he's like 150 yards out, but he's running parallel. And dude, I think you saved that buck. Because that's a vital hit. I'm not going to pick him up, but I'm just curious. What do you think? Is that our buck? I can guarantee that's our buck. I mean, it's not ours anymore because we didn't make a good shot, but that's him. Let's see. Wait, is this you, untamed? Is this you? Oh, it is you. Oh, it's Turkey. It's Turkey. It's him. It's our buck. Look at where we hit that thing. Okay, this is what's different. Now, it says 275, but actually he was 400 yards away. So this model is right, the shot placement's right, but this distance is wrong. This is the distance, but this shot placement is, it's basically like everything switched, right? So the shot was 400 yards away and we basically missed the vitals by about a half an inch. Like if you look closely here, can I see? Oh no, you can't really see. But if you look closely, you can see that the lung is right there. Well, that's what happened. That's cool to know though. I'm glad it's him. He is cool looking. No, we already took a shot at him, man. I don't know if you want to get him or not, but he's a 219. So he wasn't even big enough to be a gold, but he's a cool looking buck. I like how his uh, G2 kind of just goes like super far out like that. He's really wide. A unique buck. But then Turkey got him at 275 yards. Turkey, you made an awesome shot. You ended up taking a double lung shoulder blade shot on that thing. So pretty awesome shot, man. I'm so glad you got him, though. Because I wanted to save him, but even though you saved him, he wasn't even big enough to, to be a gold anyway, so. He was still a good buck. A very, very good buck. We took down that pronghorn over here. Did you find that? I think you might have picked him up. Yeah, probably. 
How far was that shot, Turkey? Wait, was that him? Um, yeah, I feel like it had to have been him. Because he was out here quite a ways. Wait, let's check. No, he got his pronghorn. So, our pronghorn's over here. We dropped it, so we don't really need to, you know, look for blood. We saw it pile up here, so we just gotta find it now. Um, Turkey, there's a big pronghorn buck down here somewhere we shot, and I don't know where it is, but if you see it, let me know, please. I thought he was, like, over here more, but there's no hunting pressure here. So... Oh! It was a goal, I thought it was mine. Oh, so he was next to the buck. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so you picked him up before he was a gold. Oh, okay. Because I was wondering like where he might have went to. What if we just jump up there now? Another buck. Small buck, I think. Respectable buck. But not really a shot though. Out of breath. Toasted him. Nah, it was all good. I was just wondering if you got him or not. So it should show in the codex here. Why doesn't it show that we got him then? Wronghorn 73. I feel like it should still give us credit for that though. Hey, Piggy Wellness, what's up, man? Nice to see you here. There's our buck down. Toasted him. Oh, here we go. We're going to try and take one down with the 300s here. Got him. All right, now come on. Try and fight. No? I don't know if we got that one or not. Imagine he just like piles up. I thought I saw one there. Wait, is that not a buffalo there? What in the heck am I shooting at? That's a brush. That's a brush. Okay. Oh, now I got the cash from it. What? Okay. Are you seeing this right now? We legit took one shot with the 300 grain small point arrows. And there's nobody over here. And there's a dead bison here. Now, I don't know if it's the same bison that we shot. Kind of doubt it. Someone probably like lit this one up before. But unless we like hit the thing in the brain, how could it go down that fast? I mean, I kind of doubt that it's ours because I don't see an arrow in it anywhere, but yeah, no, it's not ours. Dude, someone made an awesome shot with a seven millimeter. And you can't use a seven millimeter on the bison, apparently. But still, a very awesome shot. Looks like they caught kind of the top of the heart and lung there at 275. 
I was gonna say there's no way we took down that bison that fast with the 300s. Hey, Joss, dude, what's up? All right, sounds good, Everett. Take care, man. Have a good night. Oh, that would have been crazy. Imagine one shot with the 300 grand arrows take down a bison. Nice heart, heart shot there as well. Shoulder blade. Back of the shoulder blade and clip the heart on the walk. 197. See, it is a decent buck. So we actually finally got credit for the pronghorn. But I still never saw like the score pop up anywhere. What the heck is that? Hey, Kassin, what's up, man? I thought you could use a 7mm on the bison. So, it must have been glitched out. Lots of does here. We gotta find some more bucks. That was actually a pretty successful hunt so far. Just like I said, right there's a buck. Now I didn't range him, but I think he's like 300 plus. Okay, he's more than 300. <laughs> Cause we shot below the heart. But tell me that second shot connected. Come on. You gotta be going down. Did he go out of render distance? That sucker went out of render distance already. See, I gotta start paying attention to the range. I'm seeing him, but I'm not looking at the uh, range finder. I'm just looking at the animal. Yeah, he was like 350, 360 out there. Got hunting pressure. Maybe intestine, probably. Sounds about right. That's what we've been getting mostly. Intestine, like every single shot. Why does he have a dislike? I don't know. All from another buck. I like this spot a lot for mule deer and it's actually good for pronghorn plus black bear too because it's so wide open here and they just kind of hang out here uh turkey is that you you got a muley buck calling by you over there so i'm wondering where we hit that buck a female Nah, you scare my bison. Oh, man. Doe tracks. I made it! Majestic, you made it, man! Good thing I love my job. That's awesome. Glad you're here. Hey, Giancarlo. That's money. Thank you so much. What happened here now?
Oh. <sighs> All right. <laughs> you just got ripped. <laughs> I appreciate the support, but uh, can't have that kind of language here. I can't even say your name. <laughs> as soon as you get a 12 gauge, you're going to go for turkey, squirrel and ducks. That sounds awesome, boo. I am pretty sure this buck ran out of render or went out of render distance and disappeared because uh, wait a second there's tracks here what are you low oh thank you Albert I appreciate that oh 240 Oh, oh, dude, he was 400 yards. 400 yards. He didn't even look that big because he was so far away. Oh, he was walking like this. First off, that was that was a second shot. The first shot I held right here for 320 and we hit like here for 400. So then I tried to shoot here, but he walked, and by that time, we hit him way back in the, well, the dangerous parts. But, um, another good buck, so at least we're finding a couple of good bucks. <laughs> 2 a.m. in the UK, and you're not tired. Oh, you're, you are tired, but it's not fair. Sorry about that, Simon. I'm glad you're still here though. That's awesome. So we're going to change the time to 930 and try and find some more muleys here. Yeah, you guys are awesome, Cody. Thanks, man. <laughs> Definitely couldn't do it without you guys. All right, let's do some 920 hunting here. Lagged out. And in the meantime, <laughs> we're going to just do some chilling here for one second and I'll sneak on over there, but I got to get some more water. All right, I'm back. When do you think fishing will be released on Xbox One? Fishing? Hey, MDW Outdoors, what's up? Um, what kind of fishing are you talking about? Because Call of the Wild doesn't have fishing yet. And as far as I know, I don't know if they want to do that. Which they should, but I don't know if they want to do that. And if you're talking about the Mexico map for Rancho Del Rio, that's coming out on August 31st. But that has nothing to do with fishing, so I don't know 
what that has to do with it. Um, but anyways, it's 122 there. Wow, that's pretty early. Skinner George, how's it going? There's another muley buck. I'd like to find like a massive buck, like a 260 plus. I mean, 240s are good too, but once you get those 260, 270, even like 280s, are, those are awesome bucks. Those are the ones that you want. There's one over there. Oh, you keep lagging out? You live in Masudi. Where in the heck is Masudi? When I first looked at it, I thought it said Mississippi. Oops. <laughs> Um, oh my God, that's funny. How do you guys come up with your names here? Oh, you heard they were going to add it. I mean, a lot of us hope that they would add it, but they don't ever confirm it or even suggest that it's a good idea. I'm piling up five prongs. Nice work, turkey. Stack them up. What they usually say is that there's already fishing planet, so... Like, if another fishing game comes, then it would have to be a whole new game. Which doesn't make sense, but... That's just my brain. So no bucks here. Well, no really respectable bucks. Piling them up, I love it. Check over here. You want to do a muzzleloader hunt? What do you want to do a muzzleloader hunt for? You know how broken Call of the Wild would be? Yeah, I know. You were saying that before. Unfortunately, you're probably right. But it still would be really cool to have that, that feature. Hey, Mitchell Hassan. Hansen? Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I still play the Hunter Classic sometimes. It's a little bit more slow-paced. Where... Like, if I have a lot of time to just relax, then it's nice to play the Hunter Classic, but usually when I'm trying to, to uh, upload videos, I don't have, like, tons of time, so that's why I don't play Classic as much. I love playing Classic and not recording it, so to speak, but I don't really like playing Classic and not, or I don't like playing Classic and recording it. Unless we're doing drives. If we're doing drives, I love doing recording drives. Those are, those are really fun times. Bentley Smiley, what's going on? I've been playing for one year and haven't found a rare or diamonds. A lot of people are in the same situation as you, man. And all I can say is just keep on hunting and trying hard. And eventually, you know, you watch enough videos, you'll kind of catch on to what you have to do. So that way, when you're in the right spot at the right time, you'll be able to make it happen. Try and kill a diamond buck. We're trying to find something good here. Preferably like a big old muley. Looks like we got company. Someone's coming in from the backside over here. In Idaho, the deer get big. Definitely redneck. Yep. 
Cody Jenkins is a nice... Cody Jenkins is an amazing guy, definitely. I played Hunting Sim 2 quite a few times. I'm not like a huge fan of it because it got rid of the bullet drop or not the bullet drop, but the bullet cam. Once they got rid of that, it kind of lost my interest. The first one was amazing. All right, check this out. We got a bunch of bison coming this way. And we're going to take them down with a bow here if they come this way. Oh, right in front of them. 70 prong? Decent one, yeah? Nah, Majestic, you're good. Keep going, man. No, nah, I know it's you. Whatever you see on your side, it's fair game. My side, it's fair game, too. Oh, you left. No. That's all right. Oh, there are a couple males in there. Tiny pronghorn. Look at all the bisons. See, the key is when you want to try and get one of these bison, you want to pick out the smallest one because those are the easiest targets. But in this case, I kind of want this level, big level four. Smoked him. Give me a heart shot. Come on. Come on, come on. Light him up. That's two into him. Keep track, guys. How many times did we hit him? That's three. We hit him three times. Keep track. A bunch of pronghorn out there, too. I was hoping there'd be some muleys out here. Good level three. Oh, we want him. We definitely want him. Where's our bison going? 75% health. Not even getting touched. Three hits into him. No way, you got an albino mountain goat? Nice work, man. That's awesome. Those are so rare. And not only that, they're hard to tell that they're rare too because you can't actually uh, distinguish what color they are until you get super close to them. Oh, that's what happened, Majestic. Well, I was kind of hoping this guy would turn around eventually. And he did, finally. Jeez, he went far enough though. Don't keep going that way. Oh. Which way are you going to go? Holy turkey. What's going on here? Oh, someone's got an ATV coming this way. Look. It's turkey. It's you. No, don't scare her, bison. Don't run that way. Well, we better take down this nice buck here. Quick before he's gone. I think he's already gone. Oh yeah, he's gone. Turkey, that's our bison. Don't shoot him, please. We're trying to do a social experiment here. Oh, you saw the pink nose. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it.
Dude, where'd he go? There he is. Keep an eye on him. We're trying to cut him off. I wish you could like come over here and give us a ride with your ATV quick. Oh, you're right there. He's right there. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Here he comes. You're right, Turkey. Thanks, man. He's right there. Yeah, here he comes. Thanks for the help. So, Turkey's out here helping us spot this bison. He's coming in pretty close. I know, I see him. He says he's like right in front of me. Here he comes, here he comes. Let's crouch up. Draw back. And let one fly. Let two fly. Okay, so that's five shots right there. That's six shots. Seven shots. Uh, I don't think we hit him at a time, so seven. Money. Oh, right behind him. Dude, don't scare him anymore. <gasps> Come on. Oh, too low. Yeah, the problem is the ATV scares him too much. So try not use that if we're super close to animals like this. All right, man, cool. <laughs> we're still at 75%. We hit him six times for sure already. What's going on, Burkle? Same? Yeah, that's really cool. Is that him? No, I didn't think so. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Oh, that's money. Got him. That should be seven times. Oh, right above him. <sighs> Smart bison. Oh, he bolted. Right in front of him. Quite a bit low, though. Hey, Bubba, how's it going, man? Have you seen that big pronghorn? It's definitely not him. He might be over there. Turkey, where you at? Oh, you're right there. Spotting them all. Which one are you looking at? Uh, it's a level three. That's not the right one. That's a good one. <laughs> Shoot your bison. Yeah, I'm going to get the bison instead. I know, but every time we draw back, he starts running. We got to get closer to him. <laughs> Look at he's like he's marked right there shoot him. You think I can't see him bro? <laughs> oh perfect got him Got two into him that should be nine right guys That should be ten uh, I don't know where we hit that time to be honest, but uh, look good. Ooh, okay right below him so he should be hit 10. Oh, that was a horrible shot. He should be hit 10 times. What do we got for health on him now? Oh, of course he went behind that hill. 50%. We got him down to 50%. He's a million health. <laughs> but it seems like, huh? That <laughs> bison is a smart ass. I know, Mitchell. He's doing an experiment. 
Yep, that's what we're doing. We're trying to find out how many shots it takes to take him down with the 300 grains. I honestly can't even see him, but I could see the tracer, so I just figured we might as well let one fly. Oh, he's going down to this point. He might circle back here. Which one is he? Which one is he? Where is he? Where is he? Spot him, spot him. I don't see him. Oh, check that out, guys. We got a vital hit. I think that's him, maybe? It's almost gotta be him, right? Knock his block off. No, that's not him. So, we got a vital hit. That's him. Yeah, that's him. We got tracks here. But, where'd he go? Oh, you're watching the wrong one? Not on my screen. I don't see him. That might... No, that's not him. No! Oh. Hate when that happens. Oh, we shot the same one. Just, uh... That wasn't even the internet, I don't think, was it? Yeah, Jan, we hit him 10 times. So, we still couldn't quite figure out how many shots it takes. Because the first one we took... I thought we took, like, 12 shots. And it said we only hit him 6 times. Mox, no! Yeah, I know. Oh, let's try it again. <laughs> yeah, it crashes a lot when you're doing multiplayer. Welcome back. Majestic, welcome back. You joined in. Right on time. So, I still kind of want to find a big muley buck and some pronghorn. I'm going to change the time real quick. Chasing him down in RIP, I know. We were so close to finding him too. Now everyone wants an F in the chat. F in the chat. All right, Piggy Wallace, sounds good. I'll see you later, man. Oh, that was so close. I just want to find out how many shots it takes. And we even had a vital hit, so I feel like, you know, it should have went down even without shooting it anymore. Just a matter of how long we'd have to wait for him to pile up. Turkey puts an F in the chat. Not that chat. Silly. Wrong chat. So we know there's no mule deer there. Uh, could probably try here. 
Bennett. I love spam in the chat. I know, right? It's a rare occasion when you guys actually are allowed to do that without getting in trouble. You should have seen it when Corpse got one of his great ones. I was spamming in the chat and I got timed out. I'm like, what? You just said I could spam. It was so unfortunate when it happened. Gotta go, my channel is The Hunter. Oh, Untamed Hunter. Oh, that sounds awesome. I'll, I'll definitely uh, check that out, The Untamed Hunter. See, he's not in the main chat. He's actually in the in-game chat, so it's kind of different. Gobbert? Nope. Roxy, my brother said you're the best YouTuber. I appreciate that. And tell your brother thanks, man. All right, so check this out, Majestic. I think that's Majestic. Who is in the orange? I don't know who it is, but anyways. We're going to come down here. But we'll be on the uh, opposite side here. Yeah, Cody, that's the thing. It's my server. So then the server crashed. Oh, wait a second. Someone else could have maybe took over. I didn't think about that. But the whole thing probably shut down. You're right. It's not you? Yeah, I figured that. Oh. Whoever was here is not here anymore. Okay. Awesome. Tiny buck. I mean, you can hunt near me, but don't come like right next to me. You know, like two, three hundred yards away is fine. Oh, it's you, turkey? Well, that was you. I don't see you anymore. Where are you? Oh, you're over there. Okay. Hunterman RJ. Yes, I did. I actually played classic for about four years before I started YouTube. I played with Flinter and GST and Gerard quite a bit. Until Call of the Wild came out. I feel like there should be some more big bucks over here somewhere. Good size mountain goat. That is a massive, massive level three. Like that should be a four. He's guaranteed gold potential. 400 yards away. See, a tiny level 3 and then a massive level 3. And a huge mountain goat as well. Why are they all running now? Oh, Majestic's over there. Okay, sounds good, Majestic. 400 yards. We'll back up a little bit and see if we can't catch the heart on this thing. Logan, you remember when we were at 13,000 subs? I remember that too. Man, we got to get a better angle, though. I don't like this angle very much. But yes, I have played Hunting Unlimited. Yep. I like it a lot. Cassie, the Hunter Classic is pretty hard. 
To me, it's just more uh, realistic, so you got to spend a lot more time to get good at it. Where'd this buck come from now? I feel like we're getting random bucks just showing up here. Which, I'm honestly not complaining about it. Oh, there we go. Um, I think he sees a mountain lion or something because he's getting a little bit. No, you got to be kidding me. If I hit that thing in the intestine again, then I'm just done. <laughs> oh, man, I think so. You got to be kidding me. Uh, Mr. Pimp or Majestic, whoever's over there, if you see a big buck coming at you, just shoot the thing at this point. Just shoot it. We've been having such bad luck with these big bucks. They always turn at the last second, or they're about to run, and a mountain lion comes out of nowhere and ruins our whole chance. So yeah, if you see them, light them up. Shoot them. You, you're the problem. What a rip. Of course, the small bucks are going to stand right there like nothing happened. You get him? Shots fired. Nice shot. Lit him up. Heck yeah, Majestic. That's what I'm talking about. Nice work. Who is Mun? Hey, Mun. Hey, Jordan Phillips, what's going on, man? Welcome. It's going pretty good. Just messing up quite a few of these big bucks, which is not too good, but other than that... Oh, my God. There's a big one. I think that might be a guaranteed diamond. I saw the horns on him, and I thought, wow, that's a big sucker. He's 300 plus out there. Um, he should cross here at like 270, 280. Which will give us a good shot. Yeah, let's do that. Try and make sure we take down the right one here. There's two of them right there, so we got to make sure we get the right one. I think that's him. 107.6? Okay. That's definitely not him. <laughs> Pretty sure that's going to be him. He's actually going to the right now. Imagine we pull up on this one. Oh, wrong one. So... Where'd he go? Oh, Majestic, no! Slow down, Majestic! You can tell that's him from a freaking mile away. Look at that thing. Jeez! Dude, he's gonna come into bow range. Like, if he comes close enough, we'll take him with a bow. Because that's 
pretty sweet if he's going to come right to us here. If not, you know what? I want to take the scope off too. Not that one. Because it's a little bit much sometimes. Look at the size of the horns on that. Yeah, Snakehead, you came here just in time, man. We got a massive mountain goat coming this way. Muley there, too. Okay, he's 50 yards out. Gonna be our chance. The heck? Since when did this 360 glitch not get fixed? Okay, when someone said there's still a lot of things wrong with Call of the Wild, they're right. We crouched up and drew back and we got the 360 glitch, so it started flipping back this way. Oh, man. But I do believe he should come back. Talk about a rip, though. Where'd he even go? Well, we didn't have to wait too long for him to come back. Look at this. All right, let's try and not do that again this time. I mean, I had to stand up to get him to slow down. It really is, Yon. It's super, super annoying. But we'll get a second chance, it looks like. All right. Rolled him right over. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. What a beast of a mountain goat. 113 diamond. 23 yards out. Tucked it right in there. Just crumbled him. It's pretty tough to drop a diamond mountain goat like that with one shot in the bow. He's a beige too, so he's a really, really pretty color. Heck yeah. Well, that's a, that's an awesome diamond. That's a really cool diamond. Getting him mounted for sure. 113. I think that actually... Yeah, that's a giant. 113.10. I mean, we're six points above diamond, so that's got to be close to, like, a max weight. He's a beast. Yeah, he is. 307 pounds. That's got to be huge. Yeah, see, that was so worth it to me. The fact that he came past, you know, within 40 yards, we're able to take him down with a bow. To me, that was just so awesome. Like the rush there is, it's so hard to compare that to anything else. That's a three. Look at that thing. But when we saw, like, the horns on that five, I kind of, I think I'm right. I think he was a guaranteed diamond, like 100%. There's no way he couldn't have been diamond. <laughs> he was that big. Decent ram there. How big is he? Dang, that was sick. Yeah, it was pretty cool, Bucky. Just rolled him right over. That was the best part. To be able to drop him with a bow like that is not easy. It pretty much like rarely happens, actually. Brandon says, awesome. Diamond Man got one about the same size. Nice, nice. All right, so I want to try and get another mule deer here. <laughs> here we are looking for a diamond muley, and we found a diamond mountain goat. You sure did, Snakehead. You sure did. Right in time. 
Man, that was cool. A good amount of diamonds for an experienced player. I mean, once you have like over 300, you're doing pretty all right. It takes a long time to hit over 300 though. A pheasant drive does sound like a lot of fun on Rancho. Hey Mox, what's going on? My bow setup is a 2020 uh, Hoyt RX4 Ultra compound bow with a 70 pound uh, draw weight and a 31 and a half inch draw length. No, Jonathan. Hi in Louisiana. No power here. But how's the stream going? Man, how's everything going there? I know you don't have power, which that's got to be that's got to be tough, but how's everything else like the surroundings and everything? Hopefully everything's good there. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> Pretty much, Jackson. Pretty much. Where am I at here? Over here? Over here. Okay. Um, I think I wanted to go... Like here quick, maybe? I can never tell where I want to go. I have shot Matthews before, but I've never owned a Matthews. My friends have had Matthews's. Matthews's. <laughs> I don't know if you'd say Matthews's, but uh, they've had Matthews and I've shot them before, but I've never actually owned one. All right, sounds good, Sam. I flew through a Louisiana hurricane from the Mississippi flight simulator. Even in game, it was intense. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I imagine it probably was. <gasps> oh my God, what did I just do? <sighs> so, Apparently you can't use the med kits anymore when you jump off like that. Dang. That was a huge rip. Majestic, you got a dying potential pronghorn. You hit it in the neck. With what? Because you can still shoot him in the neck. As long as you use the right caliber, it will count. Unless, uh, you would have had to have hit the skull too or something to be able to mess up that shot. Seven millimeter. I really want to go to a different multiplayer and find a big buck, but I don't know if we'll be able to. The Hoyt Invecta 38? Um, I don't know if I have. Oh, look 
at that. Nice little mountain lion here. Saying hello to us. Major rip. That was a long fall. Long fall. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's nothing very decent out here. You guys want to come over here and just like shoot all my bucks for me? Shoot all my small bucks and does? Okay, cool. Just come over here and start lighting them up. Oh! Don't shoot that one. Don't shoot the or oh, that one. Oh my god. Okay, please don't come here yet. I was kidding about that part. Dude, that buck in the back is massive. He's a 260. And the one in the front is like a 250. But the back one is definitely the biggest one. What's going on H to the C? What happened? There you go, tiny buck there. Big male. Ooh, super big male. Two big males. Real big, big males. It's a pretty good angle right there, actually. We smoked him. Perfect shot. Uh, the second one. I don't know what we hit. Did he go down? Mm, yeah, I think that's level two hunting pressure there. So maybe they both went down. Maybe it was only a single lung. Right here, it's pretty much non-existent. Like I went to a museum today and I had to wear a mask inside the museum, but other than that, I never have to wear a mask. Going to restaurants, bars, like hotels, it's all good. But for some reason, the museum, I don't know, I guess the artwork, uh, they can't risk getting COVID on the artwork or something. Doesn't really make sense to me, but. <sighs> Bubba, yeah, they are, man. Two beautiful muley bucks. Sheesh. Make some smoked them merch. All right, I think I should do that. I had some in the past for a little while, but I never did any with uh, the new stuff that I have. All right, so we're lagging like crazy right now. But I just want to get over here and get this buck picked up. 260 gold. Perfect double lung heart shot. That's what I wanted. I wanted a 260 plus, and we got a 260 plus. 245 yard shot right on the money. Busted through that shoulder blade, double lung and heart. Can't beat that shot right there. And the second buck, I think was like a 246 probably or something. Which honestly, I don't even know if we made a good shot or not. I'm watching it right now. It says it's uh, down to a category two, moving at 10 miles per hour. So I think it's calming down.
So I don't know if we got that buck or not. Thank you, Brady. Well, the hard part is when you shoot two animals in the exact same spot, it's very difficult to tell. But the only way you can really tell is if you look around on the edge, there's kind of like a little shade where it goes from like purple to black. And that basically means that there's two levels of pressure here. And you kind of got to know whether or not you hit the other animal that you shot at, which in this case, we know we hit him. So that basically means that he probably went down. Tiny bucks there. But then again, I don't have any blood here that I can see. Hey, MDW Outdoors. Yep. Yeah, the brighter the color, the more the hunting pressure. But as I was saying, sometimes if you shoot an animal in the exact same spot, it's kind of like layered pressure, so it's hard to tell. Really hard to tell. Well, I'll tell you what, if you find this, then you know there's definitely level two hunting pressure here. So we got that buck. It's just that he ran quite a ways. But you see what I mean though? Like it's so hard to tell that there's level two hunting pressure here because they're both in the exact same spot. Blood over there. And there's our buck down right here. He didn't go maybe 50 yards past where we last saw him there. And piled up. 247.8. And yeah, we were a little bit high on that shot there. 240 yards out. But still got a nice right lung shot. And another good buck down. I mean, he's a good buck, but that last buck was a monster. All right, Majestic sounds awesome. Bingo dingo. That's right. That's right. We got him. That's what I wanted. I wanted to find a big muley. And we found two of them. Which was even better. <laughs> you guys and driving your ATVs all the way over here. I just, I'll never understand it. Do you really H to the C? I didn't know that. I thought you were just like trolling. Let's go back over here. Thank you, Aiden. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you got uh, ripped there pretty good. Um, in, uh, uh, South Houston area. Gobbler. Ooh, two gobblers. You know what that means? That means we're definitely getting... What, you? I'm not trolling. You never know. Why do I have like no room for anything here? What the heck? I don't know. No room for a 22 even. You know, I really wish we could use the air rifle on turkeys. Let's take the 300 out, I suppose. All right, so let's try and get both these gobblers down. 
We'll use the Argus. Do some gobbler sniping out here. Why is there a mule deer coming this way now? Huh. There's one. There's two. 300 yards out. Um, 150? I think that would be... Okay, so just low. I don't want to spook him. I want him to calm down a little bit. H to the C, do you really live in New Zealand? Hey, Zach, what's up, man? Got here just in time. We're about to smoke a nice gobbler. What the heck? That was perfect. I honestly don't know where to aim. What's going on, Ben? Don't wander away on me. Oh, they came back. Well, we got him now. <laughs> oh, we hit him. We hit him right before he piled up. So we must have been dropping like just low or something. Everyone's in New Zealand. Jeez. Beyond my favorite food in the world is prime rib all-time favorite food in the world can't beat it Hey, Catherine, how's it going? It's coming out on August 31st. All right, let's try and find this one gobbler that flew off way over here somewhere. Wyoming gang. Heck yeah. So just so you guys know, we're doing a multiplayer server. So if you f uh, find a spot, feel free to join in. Where in the heck did our turkey go? Did he not like fly over here somewhere? Yeah, that one's down there. Oh, 
Whoa, what do we got here now? Hens just came back in. Smoked. That hen just got wrecked. Oh, so we're dropping low still. What a four gold? Um, how are we gonna find that other gobbler here? Oh, I got blood here. That will help us out. Oh, that would be amazing, Noah, if you could send some prime rib. Oh, so good. You know, that reminds me, there's a Texas roadhouse maybe like three, four miles away from here. And I've never gone, wait, that's our hen. I've never gone there before, but I really, really want to go there because I've gone to the one in Wisconsin and they have a really good prime rib there. And they have those butter buns that they have. I forgot what they're called, but it's like a sweet bun with butter on it. Holy, oh my God, Jackson. Oh my God. Yo, 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 what's up party people? <laughs> Just throwing a huge super chat, jeez. That's incredible, thanks so much, Jackson. That's amazing of you. Uh, so we're just sniping some turkeys here, 330 yards out with the 22 right now. And uh, welcome, welcome to the party. <laughs> Glad you could join, man. Wow. That's so awesome of you. That's money, thank you so much. It's a sweet truck too. What is that, a Chevy there? That reminds me of my dad's old truck. It was a 6.2 liter Duramax diesel with a turbo in it. Oh man, that was so fun. So, oh, we gotta grab this hen, okay. How have you been, Jackson? <laughs> Glad you can make it too. We just got a huge diamond uh, mountain goat a little while ago. Took him at 20 yards with a bow and just crumbled him. Where do you get those guns? What are you talking about? Yeah, I know what you mean, Albert. Oh, we got elk out there. So what I realized is now we don't have the 22 or no, we don't have the 300 Magnum anymore. We got to get that. You know, what's crazy is it's so hot right now and it's it's like 9.30 at night and it's like super hot right now. And I got the air conditioning on, but it's just so humid here. I've been good, worked my whole summer off and school starting again soon, sadly. But it is what it is. Heck yeah, Jackson. It is what it is. That's a good way to put it, man. I'm glad it's been good. That's what I did. Um, growing up on the farm all summer long, pretty much just worked on the farm during the summer and then school comes back around and it is what it is. Favorite movie? I have a lot of favorite movies. I really like Crocodile Dundee though. It's one of the original ones that I like.
I also like, you know, like Men in Black, Independence Day. Those types of movies. So, what's that one called? Um, Indiana Jones. I wanted to check out this spot over here. Oh, really? So, we got a tripod right here. And this bear thinks it's going to get away. But I don't think it's going to. Holy. That thing is still running. You gotta be kidding me. That was one super tough bear. Hey, William, how's it going? All right, sounds good, Blake. See you later, man. A 501 Diamond Rocky Mountain Elk. Yeah, once you get the 500 plus, those bulls look pretty sweet. I think our biggest one was like a 504 score. been a gold what tucked it under the armpit there check out that shot I could never do that again if I tried like right through the armpit didn't hit anything apparently I could do it again <laughs> two times in a row right under the armpit look at that look at that two times in a row so these two shots